सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सूरत ओके नो After that, did you uh, you passed out in 2019? After that, did you do anything, you know, any yes, service, sir. any job? Yes, sir. Sir, I was in Reliance Industries Limited, Jamnagar, for eight months. Uh, Reliance, uh, the petrochemical. Yes, sir. Petroleum, the refinery. The refinery section. You are electrical engineer. What exactly was your job for uh, uh, Jamnagar refinery? Sir, I was a maintain. I was a maintenance engineer there uh, during my period. I was a maintenance engineer. mostly my work revolve around the inspection or the if there is any fault in the uh, in the field work so that was mostly my work sir uh what is the uh, since you have worked in the uh, refining industry now what are the field stock of uh, main field stock of uh, jabnagar petrochemical sir uh, mostly it was the crude oil that they used to uh, that they used to get from and from the, there was a n- nearby jetty that that they used to come from there they they have no, the pipeline. jetty of course is, is is a pipeline yes sir but this uh, crude was sourced from which uh, which source are what is the source of that uh, crude sir i'm exactly not aware about the uh, the countries because i was in the electrical department so i was okay, not, dealing, not uh, dealing with the, yes sir, okay now what are the products down. they were making in jamnagar uh, uh, petrochemical <coughs> yes. you are doing on the petrochemical side or you are doing on the refining side i was on the refining side and mostly my uh, work revolved around the electrical department as my sir okay. as my uh, plant was alkylation plant so they were mostly producing the petroleum products as well as uh, like paraxylene butane uh, uh, that yeah i am talking about the products here yeah. they yes, are sir. producing paraxylene paraxylene they Then, were producing also there was air turbine fuel they were producing ATF, air, yes. yes sir these were uh, most now, of now can the, you tell me about uh, since you are talking about paraxylene and atf then what are the by products uh, you mm-hmm. get, you source crude uh, as you know crude can be sourced from onshore as well as from the offshore yes sir from the oil well the crude comes and then uh, this crude is converted into so many products yes sir what are the main products one can get out of a crude sir so products or by product by product by product by product mostly Maybe sir by product. it is the petroleum products that are being pro- uh, which produced which are those products uh, like some jelly that are, that is product uh, produced from the uh, 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 crude oil and there can is can you tell us the first See how do they separate these uh, product by product? How do they source? What is the main uh, as your electrical engineer? How do they source that crude comes? And what are the I mean, technologies by which these products are sourced? I mean separated. What are the main main uh, in a layman's language? Uh, how do they how do they do? What is the process by which this uh, this uh, these products are separated and then uh, sourced? As you say, paraxylene they yes. source then ATF, yes. air, airline turbine fuel. So, what are the main process by which these are done? Sir, like, mo- because you are a process engineer also, so no, sir, electrical engineer. I'm sorry, you are yes, electrical engineer. Yes, sir. So, but you as in engineering and you have done work there in a very highly refining is one of the finest refineries in the country. Yes, sir. In the world, yes, not sir. in the country. So, what is the main uh, technologic uh, by which these crude is separated to those product by product? Sir. as far as i know because my work limited in the electrical sector but i have uh, what i have learned that there are various units that are used for uh, by products for example there was a sulfur unit where they used to uh, refine the sulfur from the crude oil and that unit was doing only that thing other okay work, so you yes, have sir. to read that yes, uh, sir. we expect a question on that since yes, uh, only because of that you know nothing about this i mean you should uh, learn this but that is that apart now you are from manpuri yes sir manpuri is uh, famous for a specific purpose in the maybe in the, uh, india or uh, the world what was the uh, history of manpuri which made it so famous or you can say call infamous also 
Why Benpuri? Many other people will say from outside uh, Uttar Pradesh will know about Benpuri and that area. Sir, historically there was an uh, event during the independence when uh, we we got uh, like uh, we fought against the Britishers and for a specific period of time, Manpuri was independent from the British rule. But uh, today, or I would say some some years back, it is famous for some activities or the criminal activities also being uh, performed there. So it is for the law and order issues. Manpuri is I won't say famous, but uh, it is infamous. Uh, in but in, before their independence also, I think Manpuri is a part of the Chambal Ravai in that area, or is it not? Sir, it, it was a part of our, our, uh, our. our kingdom. Okay, now what are the main, because there are the, what are the main developmental challenges in that area, that area, not only Manpuri, the entire area. What are the developmental challenges? And uh, given a chance, uh, you, you are given a chance yes, sir. to make a micro planning for that area, developmental micro planning. Yes, sir. How will you uh, do this planning? What are the main your uh, steps you take? What are the main priorities you specify or set for this uh, regional uh, development plan? Manpuri, the entire Itawa, Manpuri, that entire area. Sir, my most specific area would be the agriculture sector. As if, if I take the example of my district only, sir. There are 70 to 80 percent of the people are working in the agriculture sector and in my district only there is one rice mill only and if I say any industry there is none in the industry and I would say there is also no mineral so we can't specify other industries but we can surely produce food processing industries there that the farmers that are getting some amount of money from selling their crops will be earning more if, if there are some food processing industries in my area. So that that would be my uh, specific uh, food processing food will processing. be one next yes, sir. developmental challenges De develop okay so other would be infrastructure sir still there is a very uh, yes there were work going done there is agra lucknow expressway that has been built but still in the interior of the cities the roads condition are not that very very good sir there are challenges for people and we have seen a lot of road accident being happened there and other would be sir healthcare sector with awareness as if no, you allow there are specific this is all true for the entire uttar pradesh for example yes sir and uh, these but what are the specific more specific challenges pertaining to that uh, yes sir if you allow area. me to give an example yeah sir as manpuri is also famous for one tobacco mm. that we in local dialect call kapuri so mm. there the it is easily available to the people and most of the time about 80% of the people consuming that 80% of the if I say the male population they are consuming that because of that they are having problems like mouth cancer or other kind of diseases and they have the in lesser amount lesser income and all most of their money is spent on the healthcare sector so I'll be specifically for the Manpuri I'll be working in the healthcare sector with improvement in the uh, hospital and other thing also with the awareness among the people that what this thing is doing to them last question you are fond of stand up committee yes sir so what is the last stand up committee or the you are fond of which stand up committee you are fond of sir in india there is a comedian vipul goel uh, and i'm fond of uh, that person what are the main uh, comedies is he is a subject people go as a certain subject on which he again yes, and sir. again and yes, a lot of laughter is generated yes, and sir. a very intelligent uh, yes, what is the main topic on which he uh, bases his stand-up comedies on sir mostly his stand-up comedy revolve around the families he done about the parents or the teacher or the uh, parents or the kids he revolve around these person his jokes were revolved around uh, these areas thank you Thank you. <coughs> you know, you are a power engineer. In uh, India, power is produced by uh, you know, various sources. Yes, what is the proportion of nuclear energy in the total power generation capacity of India? Sir, currently around 1 to 1.5 percent of the energy of India is being produced. Yeah, it's very less. Yes, very little. Yes, sir. Now, why it is not increasing? What are the hurdles? Why can't it be increased more? Because it is pollution free. Yes, sir. 
sir one of the challenges would be the uh, raw material that it, that it requires that is the uh, radioactive or the uranium 236 that it required nuclear energy so uh, we have a challenges of uh, nuclear ex uh, uranium exploration so one would be the sir, raw material no uranium exploration is a problem or sourcing of uranium is a problem or uh, and if it is a problem why <clears throat> so we are uh, not that much technologically advanced in the area of exploration of uh, uranium in but other. uranium is available world over in yes. some other countries yes sir. you can get them uh, get it from there is there any problem other i would say that sir uh, the nuclear reactors we are not building the nuclear reactors we are mostly importing the nu uh, nuclear reactors so uh, in that sector we have to work upon the uh, indigenous development of the nuclear sector sir other would be sir uh, the <coughs> the clearance process because uh, the area around which the nuclear reactor would be built should have been clear uh, cleared because there uh, if there is any catastrophe happened then there sh uh, that should that should be taken into mind that uh, land clearance or the environment have you heard about provisions of civil liability in connection with this civil liability sir i have heard but i am not <coughs> very much sure okay now tell me in the constitution there is uh, something called doctrine of pleasure do you know about it no sorry okay now <coughs> you are going to be a civil servant yes sir uh, trying to become a civil servant what kind of safeguards are available for civil servants in the constitution <coughs> sir we have article 311 in which it is held that uh, uh, a civil servant won't be won't be suspended by an authority uh, below 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 the designation he is serving he won't be and he won't be uh, suspended from that from that authority that is one of the safeguard that is provided to the civil servant sir. and there is one and one more important safeguard <coughs> sir i love to read about it sir. okay uh, about blockchain technology there was uh, some announcement in the recent last union budget what was that sorry i am not able to recall a specific i am not able to recall yeah. and uh, there was a term uh, used uh, bda b, b, uh, uh, <coughs> bdo uh, uh, and digital assets video and digital assets something like that virtual and digital assets sorry what why what what does it refer to sir i have to read about it i am not very sure about these things this I'll was also talked about in the budget in the recent budget i'll show you read about it. <coughs> okay thank you thank you sir you to raj pratap singh yes sir bra दमदार नाम है आईपीएस इज आल्सो योर यस सर इट इज माय सेकंड पर्सन सेकंड आफ्टर द इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस ओके व्हाई सेकंड आई मीन विद योर काइंड ऑफ नेम एंड द विजिबल अथॉरिटी दैट द आईपीएस ऑफिसर्स एंजॉय इजंट इट मोस्ट विजिबल अथॉरिटी यूनिफॉर्म एंड आल्सो गन वेपन्स why choose for ias i mean when they are almost at par surely sir ips is the one of the most dignified job in our country mm -hmm. sir as an ips officer my work would be around a uh, law and order issue in the city and would be around maintaining a law and order yes it is a very good job but i want to uh, work in diverse diverse field sir as an ias officer i will be working in diverse field अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू वोट और मे बी इवन मोर यस सर Why? 
sir uh, because of my uh, frequent uh, uh, changing from the school then uh, to the college oh, and then to the because on. you are in what age <coughs> if we were talking like this yes some 30 40 years ago people would accept it but not today and you are <laughs> aspiring to be a civil servant and one of your challenges would be to ensure that maximum voters participate in elections yes sir yeah sir i was uh, after the interview process i was going to apply for that because no it's only it's only get yourself registered tomorrow yes sir tonight itself in fact yes sir uh is voting a right or a duty <clears throat> Sir, it's not a. Uh, it's not mentioned as a, a duty in our constitution. Right, right to vote is not as a duty. It, it may be a right. Right to vote is not a duty. Sir, it's I not mentioned in the. I'm asking whether it's a right or a duty. Uh -huh. Sir, uh, in reference to the constitution, sir. Yes, of course. Sir, as law or constitution, whatever. I mean. In fundamental duty, sir, right to vote is not mentioned as a duty, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it is mentioned as a right. So do you understand the difference between a right yes, sir. and duty? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, <coughs> right, right is the uh, obligation of the uh, or the right is obligation. No, sir. Uh, if you allow me, I'm. Uh, sir, yeah, please, please. Sir. please. Let me make it simple for you. Yes. Is voting your right? which you can yeah. exercise or you refuse to exercise right and is it a duty that you have to exercise so what is it voting it voting falls in which category sir it is my duty towards the nation sir or duty towards the uh, towards what is being a right that is given to me to choose an elected representative Hence, it is my duty uh, to exercise this. Chile, कोई बात नहीं हो रही रोन वैसे बट मोर. Yes, sir. There is a term in the same context called nota. Yes, sir. What is that? Sir, it is none of the above uh, that is being uh, uh, allowed to the uh, voters that if they do not uh, uh, want to vote the candidates or the available option to them, they can choose none of the above option. Sir. But then, what is the difference? I mean, that uh, voter need not go because he knows in advance who all are there in the field. So, how is it different from uh, not going and voting? Sir, surely, but uh, but the thing is, he his vote will be recorded there, and if there <laughs> is any analysis of the election or the how the voting is being done in our country, then uh, through these analysis. people or the commissions would got to know that people have chosen the none of the above option because of the record being present in the machine so by exercising none of the above option no, that's a, that's a good answer and i don't want to prolong this but i mean what difference does that make to the commission or to anybody <clears throat> so the commission can recommend to the parties that uh, people are not aspiring to vote uh, to the uh, candidates that these uh, parties are proposing so whether they uh, can change the they can check what are the reasons why people are not voting them or uh, they can check the profiles of the candidates so let's get out of this technical riddle and come down to your uh, comedy show yes uh, sir can you uh, can you tell me two instances or three instances which in very very recent uh, time uh, you know created a lot of hue and cry two instances of stand up comedy both in india and outside sir one would be the recent incident of in the oscars where uh, chris rock that he had joked on wife of uh, an actor will smith and then will smith uh, went to the state and stage and he slapped him that was a very unfortunate incident other would be sir in india uh, that we have recently <clears throat> heard or from time being the about an comedian If I am allowed to name name the comedian, sir, can mm -hmm. I name the comedian? Sir? Yeah, yeah. He is the Munawar Faruqi. Uh, so he was also his shows were cancelled because of some radical events. So these are some unfortunate events 
for stand up comedy in india as well as in the world good 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 recall last question to you you are a student of political science and international Internet. relations yes. <clears throat> is kashmir i mean kashmir is a problem right from its from india's birth yes sir do you think this would ever get settled sir surely challenges are there but sir uh, to settle the uh, challenges of kashmir that should be our goal sir so but yes there are internal challenges as well as it challenges from both the sides like india and pakistan the guns no, yes we have taken a stand yes sir in law and internationally yes sir that it is our territory and it is pok yes sir pakistan occupied kashmir yes sir right if it is pakistan occupied illegal occupied obviously so what are we doing to or what can we possibly do to retrieve it sir the diplomacy in my opinion the diplomacy is the best available option to us mm. because if we go on the confrontation we have china on the other border also then there will be challenges to have the two front enemies or two front confrontation we should be pressurizing the pakistan on the international forum sir and we should put forward the human right violation that has been done or yeah, so all these 50 years we are doing only that yes sir we have done our best as far as diplomacy is concerned yes sir and all uh, major powers <laughs> slowly gradually and the united nation have endorsed our stand yes sir but nothing is happening i mean things remain what they were so is military uh, operation is also a solution sir military operation mm. is a solution but not an immediate sir first of all we should focus on the sir development in the kashmir region because there should be goodwill among the people of the kashmir also that yes because sometimes they don't want to join any country or they want their independence so, so i wanted to end here but i mean this leads to one more supplementary on this yes, do you see any possibility that when kashmiris on the occupied part okay. pakistani occupied part when they see a lot of development taking place as you said yes sir Uh, this side of kashmir you see any chance of those people walking over to this part or say we go we sort of declare and some popular movement that we we will go and join our brethren on the other side sir surely they want to they want they will want to come this side because of the developmental activities happened in the indian occupied re- oh, sorry india okay. and the indian kashmir okay sir raj thank you thank you very much thank you sir you see what is the meaning of the name ritu raj sir it is uh, divided into ritu plus raj that is sir king of the season sir king of the season yes sir this is the king of the season sir that is uh, i'd say the rainy season sir rainy season yes sir okay you are uh, a student of political science and ir huh? yes sir uh, So Russia has agreed to supply India crude oil yes, and sir. gas yes, at discounted rates, yes, sir. and India has, pla- you know, gratefully accepted it also. But the USA is not happy about it for naturally for obvious reasons. You know? So and uh, USA wants India to break all trade relationship with Russia. Supposing you are appointed as the finance or sorry foreign secretary of India. what is your advice to the prime minister sir breaking away the trade relationship with russia would be a drastic step sir one of the reason would be the sir immediate neighborhood also that russia is uh, and and the uh, legacy of the friendship that russia have with us and the supplier of the uh, arms as well as uh, export to also sir we have only 1% of our dependence on the crude oil from the russia Howsoever it is being highlighted, but we have, if I, okay. howsoever it is being highlighted, we have not that much of dependence, but only around one percent of the dependence. So our prime minister can also, if if I am the finance secretary, I can advise my prime minister that we can put forward our view to the uh, to those who are saying that uh, 
uh, we are we are uh, importing very much from them because we have confrontation is china in our region also and geography do play a significant role in the in relation of any country so if we if we if we won't be in consonant with russia also there would be uh, various challenges for us uh, in the nearby future so uh, the diplomacy would be the solution to uh, travel in in these troubled waters okay supporting the us uh, applies to uh, economic sanctions on india yes, this is quite a possibility what will happen sir what will happen between the relation what uh, what will happen to india india's economy so well, india is avoiding taking a straight uh, stand you know yes, sir. <coughs> on the ukraine crisis sir such would be a very unfortunate steps by the usa uh, looking at the history between our relation also the current uh, development uh, uh, in the india usa relation but if uh, usa applied sanctions on india there would be a setback in our economy for sure we have we are also importing a significant amount of crude oil from usa also and others like service our uh, service sectors also had uh, importance of usa there would be challenges but we should we shouldn't be retaliating in such a way that that may affect our relationship with any country we should in my opinion should utilize the international organization we should pressurize the usa there because uh, because uh, it is not a solution to pressure someone and then uh, using them for their benefit there should be a rational and a thoughtful discussion on this but yes sir there should there would be problems on the indian economy if they produce, uh, if they sanction us suppose in china attacks india yes sir see, what will be will india be able to stand this without uh, america's help sir i do believe in the capacity of our armed forces the air force and the army and the navy also we have the strongest as well as the most technologically advanced forces but surely sir we do need help from our allies or from our friendly countries like usa and if if uh, usa won't be helping or if usa as it won't be saying anything against the china then we we and that's why i want to say that we can't go against the russia because in that situation russia can also come to our he- nearby help because of the geography uh, geographical reasons mm-hmm. so one, one last question yes uh, you said that uh, voting is not a fundamental right fundamental duty yes. sir as you are I not sure know. about fundamental right also sir is i it, i'll okay. surely read about it i'll surely read about it no you can read no yes, no issue no, but uh, is it not a constitutional obligation you use the expression obligation at one stage but it is not a constitutional obligation to vote sir it is a constitutional obligation to mm-hmm. vote uh, because uh, we we should we have the right to choose who who can govern us or uh, who would be our mp or the mls so yes sir it is a constitutional obligation on us okay. thank you sir rituraj some questions on political science and ir yes sir have you studied positive and negative concepts of liberty by t h green and john stuart mill sorry sir um, john stuart mill i i ha- heard about them but i haven't uh, read about them. not in the syllabus no sir i, I haven't liberty. read liberty liberty is in the syllabus but okay a specific thing i have okay so what what do you understand by liberty what is liberty sir liberty is the choice or the freedom of to someone to develop themselves fully to uh, to do what they want uh, or develop themselves fully to their capacity okay. so yes sir so in my opinion to develop themselves fully in their capacity is what liberty is okay so is it absence of restraint or is it the positive power of doing and enjoying something worth doing or enjoying sir may i, I may I repeat no no sir i i can't say sir uh, that it won't be it will be a zero sum game won't be that absence of restraint or positive 
it is yes uh, pos- it, there should be positive liberty where the state is there to check the uh, to check if there is something being done unconstitutional or unlawful but they should be allowed in a free way to uh, to develop themselves sir. so it won't be either positive or uh, negative there should be sir balance between the two is international law the vanishing point of jurisprudence if your answer is yes why if your answer is no why sir i can under- i can i understand your question can you please sir is international law the vanishing point of jurisprudence what is sir, the vanishing point i am not fully understanding the question sorry sir okay <laughs> okay because you ir is your yes sir okay i'll put it this way is international law is not really a law in the true sense of the term what is the basic characteristic of law whatever being uh, the basic characteristic of law is to make the person follow the principle that is being written in it and as far as the international law is considered people do sign treaties and uh, the various uh, signatories on the various forums but if they haven't ratified in their uh, in, uh, in their domestic countries then then that is not very much obligated to them to follow these uh, laws yes they have yes. meaning thereby that there is no law enforcement agency which can compel the actors to follow the law yes sir there is no global government kind of thing which can compel them to follow so uh, there is no international sovereign to enforce it right sir, can you sir. give me an example of this which an incident which has occurred in last two months of this of what? of the international law being the vanishing point or i think you have understood yes, what i am saying sir the recent russia ukraine crisis can be seen as an example where there is a uh, there is a respect for sovereignty that every country has to maintain as per the international law and uh, the recent attack by russia in the ukraine is <coughs> violating this international law sir very well excellent now you have talked about i mean you have indicated sitcom and tv series as your yes sir. interest yes sir so what is the difference between a sitcom and a series what is a sitcom sir sitcom stand for situational comedy okay in this sir the same amount of characters are so the same characters they are continuously doing this episode and moving the story forward sir okay the the story revolve around the life or the interaction between these characters only have you seen friends yes sir so friends is in which category is it a soap opera or is it a sitcom sir it is a situational comedy sitcom sir okay what about kapil sharma show is it a sitcom is it a sitcom at all what is it it, it, it is an uh, stand up comedy kind of thing sir he is doing stand up as uh, uh, performing an act through a stand up sir the men appear you know dressed as women and doing all those lewd things saying double meaning thing is that sitcom sir i can't comment can it be surely. categorized as sitcom sir, sir if we take the characters if we take the literal meaning of the sitcoms that the characters are continuing for the uh, or they are continuing with their uh, characters in the above epi- uh, in the following episode then it can be seen as a sitcom but Uh, but but isn't saying. sitcom supposed to be a, some kind of a storyline? For instance, I love Lucy, or yes, Prime Minister. So there is a, a real life situation, yes, and sir. the comedy comes out of it. You know, situation. Yes, sir. Does that happen in Kapil Sharma show? No, sir. They made uh, they made the fictional characters or made the stories that are not the real events. So that that won't be coming in the sitcom. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Rituraj. Uh, you can wait outside. We'll call you for feedback. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, so, after Acha, apparently, this thing have done well uh, today. And uh, this is your first uh, mock, or you have given uh, second mock? Second mock. So, first mock, did they say anything about you? Yeah, what kind of general comments, sir? First mock, the job, sir. Sir, uh, one, one of the main uh, recommendations they gave me was the around my pitch, sir, uh, the voice, sir. They said that there was no modulation in my voice. Okay. The pitch was as uh, in the same. If we, if, we, they, if they said that if they plot the graph of my voice, it would be a straight line. There won't be modulation. And then they said also I was sitting very stiff, sir. Okay. I was not moving and uh, looking a ner very nervous kind of thing. Okay. So these kind of things they said ki I have to work upon. Uto hai, of course that is true. What they said was correct. At the same time, secondly, so you have knowledge base we improve kariye. Yes. Sir. Knowledge base you understood. Many things, major things, you have to say, what is in Jamnagar refinery? Yes. What is refinery? Mein kya hoti hai? You said, I only I elected. Does it mean that you only elected? You have to know now. Yes, sir. Since you are coming from that, it's a very prestigious refinery. So, obviously, Surat ke baare mein hamne puchha nahi. Yes, Gujarat ke baare mein nahi puchha. Kuch question aas sakta hai. Gujarat ka developmental challenges, environmental challenges, ye thoda. Economy aapne nahi puchha. Aur sab jo even uh, situational comedy is step up a stand up comedy, Jesse Bolling, there will be obviously some kind of all these. So, yes, so you see, okay, clarity ho jara chahi hai, my name or uh, delivery method, Jesse, up to Suda. Okay, today the get up was not very proper because you are just you didn't look a very uh, kind of eager and kind of so. Thori Sus me, Suda Laya, there are clean seven or whatever. Thori Si. Dress to okay, but thori si ek ek body language mein thori si positivity lai. Or like, uh, like, uh, like for example, ye thik hai tension nahi. But wo thori si apke jo thori si ek ek eagerness ek ek energy thori si usko lane koshish kare. Thori si practice kare mirror ke samne delivery. Thori si usme knowledge base. So many things we did not ask about. I just Uttar Pradesh in general. There are so many controversial things. Hijab controversy. Butcher Khana, stray cattle, uh, so many things. Uh, Uttar Pradesh is your main to yes. may consider Kare. Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, do not Kare. Baki uh, knowledge of all, both Sarechi, anything they can, economy, pandemic, post pandemic, uh, yeah, this thing, uh, all these things are anything. Uh, yes. Up, 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 Sir, 20th may, 20th may be. 20th may be yeah. time. Hai. So, you can do systematic and uh, uh, practice. Kare. Mirat ke samne, koi friend circle ho, thoda sa kare. Or, uh, the economic newspaper. Ek, to, uh, you just uh, economic times by, uh, along with Hindu by Indian Express. Ke saath, yes. Uh, thoda analytical ability. So, you can do it. For example, this constitution, wala, right to vote or duty. You, you didn't know. So, what you don't know, honestly said, sorry, sir, I yes, have sir. to like that. Excuse yourself. Get into that, then you get into uh, mistakes. Sir, over so, you are not expected to know everything. Yes. But your constitution, just say basic things, yes, uh, duties, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. क्या क्या हमारी ये है क्या नहीं है तो और जो भी क्वेश्चन है उसका रटल ना हो जाए फॉर एग्जांपल ही सेस की व्हाई डिड यू फॉर वोटिंग के लिए आपने क्यों नहीं किया दैट वाज जस्ट ए जो साइड हैपेंड जस्ट टू काइंड ऑफ थ्रो यू ऑफ बैलेंस बट डोंट लूज योर पेशेंस और कूल यू कम बैक टू योर ओन सेल्फ एंड सो अदरवाइज यू हैव डन वेल यू विल डू बेटर काफी टाइम है तो कीप ऑन आपके कोई क्वेश्चन है एनीथिंग एनीथिंग यू वांट टू आस्क Sir, uh, sometimes there is a problem, like the problem that happened to me is that, that sir also has the fundamental right and the duty thing. Sir, words are there in my mind, and but I am not able to express them. So, because so, of practice. So, that's why many things I just, a new, newspaper thora pare loud voice me, isha ke saamne, mirror ke saamne, thora about ek do friends ho to discuss kare, just say those small things, they are constitution, bundled right, so, thora sa, Discuss karte rahe, thoda sa ask, ye hota hai friend circle ke andar, to thore ba, to thoda loud 
बोले तो इस टाइप की थोड़ी सी करे इट विल इम्प्रूव तो आपके मन में है जो एक्सप्रेस अब डिलीवरी नहीं हो रहा है तो ये डिलीवरी थोड़ी सी इम्प्रूव आपको आवश्यकता है नॉलेज बेस ऑब्वियसली आपके काफ़ी सारे जगह पी एस आई आर में आपने जो है काफ़ी सारे चीज़ें आ सकती पी एस आई इज अ वास्ट ओशन तो उसमें कोई भी चीज़ें आपने छोड़िए मत आर एन टी एफ एयर्स लास्ट वन ईयर और सो जैसे आपने मेन्स में किया है वो थोड़ा सा ब्रशअप करते रहे करेंट टेलीविजन न्यूज वेयर एक इंटरनेट न्यूज होते हैं उसमें काफ़ी डिस्कशन होते हैं वेयर बाई ऐसे इंटरनेट थोड़ा सा करते जस्ट दे विल आस्क योर ओपिनियंस तो ओपिनियंस में कैसे एक्सप्रेस करें एक्सप्रेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट माइंड में आए बट आप निकल नहीं रहा है एक्सप्रेस दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट तो उस पर थोड़ा प्रैक्टिस आपका हो सकता है टाइम बहुत है तो आपके लिए कोई डेढ़ महीना है तो लगभग तो इसमें कोई दिक्कत वाली बात नहीं है और सर बॉडी लैंग्वेज या बॉडी लैंग्वेज में थोड़ी सी पॉजिटिविटी और भी ला रहा है एनर्जी एनर्जी कम कम लुक्स लेस एनर्जेटिक यू आर एक्चुअली पेरेंट्स गिव्स एन इंप्रेशन दैट यू आर नॉट रियली देयर मतलब आप रियली यू आर अगर कोई खींच के आपको लाया है सो आप शेविंग में यू शुड कम प्रिपेयर इन देंस फॉरी वन डेस्टेबल है आपके एकदम क्लीन शेवन फॉरी प्रॉपरली वेरी मच टाइम नॉट प्रॉपरली दिस थिंग बटन दिखना नहीं चाहिए वगैरह वगैरह ये सब सब थोड़ी बहुत चीज़ें तो वो सब चीज़ें बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग यू आर गोइंग फॉर द बेस्ट सर्विस इन दी वर्ल्ड तो उसी लिए उसको एक मर्यादा है खुशी है उसकी इरादा रखे बट यू विल डू वेल आई मीन यू आर दे आर ऑलमोस्ट डिपेंडिंग ऑन यूर बेन्स का कैसे आपने किया है अभी टाइम है ब्रशअप करिए काम करते रहिए जो भी आपके रेगुलर दिनचर्या है उसको करते रहिए बट Not put too much, too much pressure on. Yes, sir. I will. जो है है smoothly करते हैं आपका काम करते हैं ये और तो ऊपर वाला क्या आते हैं आपको तो काम ही करना है yes, effort ही करना है. Then, hello, thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Academy. Let's crack it.